Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Timberborn Update 6 Wonders of Water playthrough with the Iron Teeth faction here in cycle 11, day 1. We are continuing the series. That was pretty much the plan all along, but uh, overwhelmingly you guys have been very enthusiastic about wanting to see more and uh, doing as much as we can on this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to jump right back in to where we were before, which was we had just got this filled up. We have a bunch of green space up here. It's looking really nice. And uh, a couple suggestions received for this, but I think the one we're going to go with, the one a lot of you guys seem to like, is to turn this into a forest area. That way we can move all of the tree growing up to this plateau and use all of this land down here for farming of food, berries, coffee, all that good stuff. So that is where we are going to start. Go ahead and put in that's not where the forester is. Uh, go ahead and put in a forester up here. See if we can reach everything, pretty much. Um, just about. And I'm going to put this guy here for right now, just to get everything planted. And then we might end up moving things around. Uh, but the idea that I had was, what if we just put in swimming pools around the outside of this whole thing? So I'm pretty sure if we just pause to uh, try this out. Yeah, even just like this, I can already put four of them up here. Obviously, we could clean this up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer, and uh, maybe put in five or six of them. But this is going to be a great way for the beavers to do some recreation, and that's always a good thing. But before we get too comfy cozy with this stuff, I am going to go ahead and just uh, put in a little bit of a, uh, a ring around the outside here. Just leave exactly one space. We have plenty of room up here, so we don't need to really worry about too much of anything taking up a bunch of space. Uh, but this will allow us, with the current way stuff is set up, this will allow us to get everything planted and not have trees in the way. I'll go ahead and probably just plant all of this as oak trees, just because that's going to be the easiest thing uh, to have maximum benefit with. We'll just get this entire area planted as oaks, including this bit out here and everything inside, not so much, but uh, we do have space over here that we're probably going to want to keep open. So before we get too excited, I'm going to have this path come out this way because we're also going to want to be able to have access to uh, this thing over here and all of this metal, which I think the easiest way to take full advantage of this is going to be building a giant ladder right here, which I'm not going to do right now. Never mind, we're definitely doing it right now. I did not think I had enough uh, stuff to make it work. In fact, I really should go ahead and change the orientation on those before I regret it later and put the actual ladder part against this side of the cliff because then I don't have to rotate it. That's going to work beautifully well. That's just a straight line there. It'll also go up to this should we choose to do that. But obviously the main idea is to get this forester up and running, start planting these oak trees, and then we can consider what else we're going to be doing. Uh, we do have a little bit of dynamite, and yes, I am aware that I don't have a storage for explosives because I demolished it because I thought I was going to build something up here but that's clearly not happening, so we'll just go ahead and put this back in so we have somewhere to put our explosives and move on with our lives. So, turbo mode speed here, going into day two of cycle 11, and on we go. We have three beavers who are not currently working, uh, so I'm going to take a look at my food production here. I think it's probably going to be in my best interest to go ahead and just turn these hydroponic gardens back on. Oh, got that one. There we go. One of these days, I will hit the correct thing here. <laughs> All right, so that's taken care of. Um, now that I'm no longer in super rush, rush, rush mode, uh, first of all, I can go ahead and open this up uh, to get this pumping again, and uh, we can start having some more beavers. We don't have extract yet, so we can't have the advanced breeding pods, but I can go ahead and put one more regular breeding pod 
And in addition, our beavers are going to have a lot longer lifespan than they did in previous episodes uh, because the well-being is substantially higher thanks to us getting it to 30 last time. So I'm going to go ahead and unplant all of these trees down here with the exception of these pines. I'm not going to do anything with those yet. So by the time this is all finished here, these trees will already be planted and grown. Hopefully, hopefully they get this uh, right in here sooner rather than later. I think they're currently trying to build all this stuff, which is fine. But we're no longer in super crisis mode to get all that taken care of. Well, it was never really a crisis to begin with. I just uh, kind of wanted to prove a point that I could get to 30 well-being before the end of five episodes with a population of not just like five beavers. We did really well. The series was a huge success, as far as I'm concerned, at least. I think we did very, very well in those five episodes, and it's nice to have a challenge like that. Now we're just going to be in regular playthrough mode where we just try to do some neat stuff and uh, do it in the best way possible. So uh, if you watched this channel before, then you know exactly what to expect. If not, well, you probably still have a pretty good idea of what to expect because we didn't really do the first five episodes of this that differently aside from me just kind of focusing on some stuff I normally don't. Regardless, I'm glad you're here and hopefully they can get this forester built soon. I did not have uh, four beavers working as builders. Somebody caught that in the comments, uh, so we will fix that. And then let's see. Uh, let's actually take a second, take stock of who's working or who's here, rather, beard booster wise. I had a couple people ask if their uh, their beavers were in here. So feel free to pause if you are on the beard booster list and see if your name is in here. There are 60 of you currently, and that number is only going to increase. And speaking of numbers only increasing, we are now out of beds. So we're going to want to go ahead and unlock this large barracks here for 400. And I'm going to go ahead and just demolish all these, and we're going to replace them with the large barracks, which are a plus six each for capacity. And what is taking them so long to build this? Like, it's the it's the prioritized, prioritized building thing. I don't have anything else that's being built, right? So why... Well, not at that priority. Aha! The Flame of Unity is no longer the top priority building thing. No wonder it was taking so long. <laughs> well, we still want this, but we don't need it immediately. Yeah, that's right. Build this right now because we really, really need to make sure that these trees get planted soon. Or we're going to find ourselves in uh, possibly a bad situation. All right, there we go. We got Jens over here. Uh, going to go ahead and plant some oak trees for us. And... Hopefully, uh, they can take care of everything they need to take care of. I did pause construction of this because it wasn't, strictly speaking, necessary. Uh, but I will go ahead and deprioritize it and unpause. Because I want them to build these large barracks over here. Which ideally is going to be... Well, I guess it's going to be after these ladders. So, prioritization once again rears its ugly head. So we're going to have to do that. Get them to construct these things and we'll be in good shape. At least for the next little bit. Should have a uh, vacancies in terms of beds at 10 by the time this is done. Unless we have additional beavers born. Uh, but eventually we're going to have to uh, build some more stuff. Speaking of building more stuff. The absolute like rabid obsession some of you have with the number crunchers just continues to baffle me. But um, we're, we are at the point now where I think I can maybe justify building one. Um, it's just, it really, the 1500 science was completely untenable for our first five episodes because we're trying to do things that actually benefit beavers and this is just takes jobs away. Which I guess you could make the argument that it's better to just not have the beavers working in the inventor huts, but 1500 science and all the metal and all the gears and stuff this was going to take up we're going to completely just absolutely detract from what we're trying to do plus we weren't generating enough power which 
technically we are now. I just have to find a place to put this big ugly thing. And I don't know where it's going to go and not be a detriment to what we're doing. So that is why I normally don't mess with these until the end of the playthrough because I find them to be an enormous pain in the butt. All that being said, we got eight free beds. So we did get some extra beavers. We're going to have to expand this soon. But we do have the option of continuing to build up here. We can relocate some of these things once we, you know, uh, do build a number cruncher, which is going to eliminate pretty much all of these jobs anyway. But we're not there yet. I have to find a place to put it that's not going to be super annoying and most of the locations that we have are going to be super annoying because this is a small map and I don't have anywhere good to put it. So trees are already planted up here nicely looking. Um, if we want to keep this the same general size we could. Uh, if we want to eventually start closing this in we can as well but I think for what we're working with now. Uh, we're probably fine. We have explosives on the ground that can get picked up. Uh, but more importantly, we can use them. And we can just blast this entire bit down. We can fill it with trees. That is going to be probably what we're going to be doing. Mostly up here. Food-wise, water-wise, we're looking really good. Water obviously could have some improvements, but that is going to come at a later time. Grand scheme of things, this is still like four or five days worth of water, which is perfectly fine. I would like to long-term uh, clear this and turn this into a large reservoir in the corner uh, by blasting down a ma maybe, maybe, maybe using some mechanical pumps. I never really ever use those, so I think that could be kind of fun to build some sort of a, uh, a system with that, but... The, uh, the deep water pumps have a depth of 6 maximum, and I, I am not really using that. Right now it's at solid 2. So we have the ability to have these nice deep reservoirs, and I think we should be using that. But again, that's something that's going to come in time, and probably is not something we're going to need to rush. We just need to make sure that we're storing enough water first to provide for our beavers in the, uh, this station that they are in and not really worry too much about anything else. So that is what we are looking at here. Still need another 155, 65, whatever the math works out. I think it's 65. Oh my god, you can't do beans. Look, we've already established I'm bad at math. If you're good at math, congratulations, you won. I lost. It's fine. You can do the math for me in the comments if you so choose, but I mean, uh, the number crunchers, I... <clears throat> I really don't like these things. If they were like 3x3 three three or 5x5, five five, they'd be a lot easier to put somewhere. But they're 4x4, four four, and they have a weird shape, which makes it very hard to squeeze them in on a small map without just looking really, really dumb. So if you have a good idea of where to put this thing and not just be a complete just disgrace to society, then by all means, let me know. But as it stands now, uh, they're just going to be taking up space. And we're going to end up using probably most of this at some point, eventually. For the time being, though, our science situation is perfectly fine. We're not going to be in trouble until we get into bots. Which uh, is not going to be for a while. Now, what's interesting is all of this stuff on the ground, these explosives, have not been picked up. Now, there's not like a ton of them, but you'd think... You'd think they'd be doing something. I know the haulers don't technically do it. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I, I've, I've seen like a billion videos about do haulers move building materials? And obviously the answer is no. But every single time it comes up, I still think they do it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's just the way it goes. Kind of unavoidable at this point. Uh, but we are going to need to... Yeah, we're going to need to figure out a little bit more stable uh, stable output for food here, because I've got a lack of algae rations. Well, obviously, because I haven't been making them. But I'm not really sure. Not really sure what the best thing... I mean, obviously, we have to build this one, but they haven't done it yet, so I'll just turn this one to algae rations real quick to try and refill that. We're going to need more than just the tiny 200 storage eventually when we get there. 
but we've got some time. Uh, I'm going to have big storages for pretty much everything, and I have to decide exactly where the beavers are going to live. Which um, probably shouldn't be the corner, if we're being honest with ourselves. It probably should be right around the center, but I'm going to have to figure out a cool, uh, a cool way to do that. Now, we do have an update 6. We have these overhangs. So, in theory, I could just build this complex over this little water feature here and just have a big apartment block using our large barracks and different storages and stuff. And maybe that would be something interesting to uh, to try and build, but if we do that, I'm gonna want it to be symmetrical and this needs to be square and then could turn into a science fair. Not the kind you win awards at. So maybe that's something to uh, consider as we move forward. Would love to know your input on that as well, of course. And then we have down here, uh, we've got some extra space. We could blast this out, especially once these oak trees are gone. Could just blast this out and have a big, big mangrove field. Well, submerged in the water mangrove field, because that's what you have to have. I think that would be a good idea. And then uh, we can move coffee maybe up here or something. I just, I want to make sure we have adequate supply for everything we're trying to do. So it's not always a, uh, not always a quick and easy task, you know. Yeah, there's still still some trees that have to get planted, but that's not the end of the world. I think once we have bots, this will be a lot quicker, but obviously we are way far away from that. I'm going to go ahead and detonate these. Just let them continue doing what they are doing. I don't think there's any more explosives left, so I will go ahead and turn this back on so we can get that going. Um, probably should have this be an obtain, prioritized by haulers. Uh, gonna want to get these large tanks unlocked soon. Maybe not at this exact moment, but, uh, by the time we have this kind of, uh, looking better, and I think that's gonna be a smart idea for us to take advantage of that. Just got a lot to think about in terms of how we're going to shape the rest of this playthrough. We obviously needed to go and do some terraforming. Uh, but I don't know where I'm going to want to put that. So here's an idea. Like, if you don't know how Timberborn does the terraforming, uh, it basically has no limit on the amount of dirt that you can acquire with one of these. It just keeps going infinitely, even if the map is already bottomed out. So, you know what we could do is, it's not going to let you place it on the very bottom of the map, but I could do a space like right, I'm, it's not going to go in this exact spot, but say right here, where it's one block above the bottom of the map. If I were to build it here, it would only remove these, um, these five tiles, which I can't really show you while this thing is, you know, in the position it's in, but it's only going to remove five tiles of actual dirt, but it's going to give it to us infinitely. That's just the way it works. Is it an exploit? I don't know. You tell me. But the game will do it. And it's done it forever, so I don't think it's a behavior that's intended to be uh, fixed at any point. Or they would have addressed it. Or maybe they didn't. I just didn't notice it. Point being, I think it's going to be the smartest thing to do is put this as low as we can. Unless there's somewhere we wanted to make a 5x5 five five crater to fill with water at all times. If the space is already all the way down and we can just place this somewhere where it's just going to, you know, not be a burden and continually give us a dirt, then I think that's a win for everybody. Because eventually we are going to have to have a mine up here and then that's going to that's going to be just perfectly fine where it is. But we're going to need dirt to actually terraform one of these big things over here. If we want to do it with terraforming, I usually don't. I usually do uh, levees. But uh, more than a couple of you have asked for me to do some terraforming stuff in this playthrough, so I think we can make it happen. It's always a good time to try something new and exciting. So we can, uh, we can roll with that. Just have to make sure that we're uh, being smart about it. So food-wise, we've maxed out our storage of algae rations. This can go back to corn. This still has not been built because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they uh, they took care of this. This is just the uh, 
the forest are doing all that. But what else is actually being constructed ahead of the other thing? Because this is already all the way down. And I don't know what else there is to build that isn't this. So why do we not have anything happening over here? Where are the planks? Where are the gears? Where are the metal blocks? We have all those things. Where are the builders and what are they doing? Mm, I go Carrying nothing. Okay, are you going to grab something? Carrying... Ex ah, they're building the explosives. Even though the other thing is prioritized. Very strange. Very strange. Mm, okay, carrying nothing. Going to go get... Uh... Okay, you got logs from somewhere down there. Okay, moving logs between... Between... Okay, so why are... Oh! Okay, because I deleted the... Mm, all right. Well, I, I can't say I understand it, but at least we know what they're doing. All right. Just a little bit left. we got three more here. These are going to become... Again, more trees... Probably, for right now, I should build another forester, but I think it's okay. These grow slowly enough. Where By the time they're actually getting cut down, we should be in decent shape. Okay, so I actually have an unemployed beaver, which is rare. Um, if this food factory was actually... Ah, it's deprioritized. That's my mistake. I thought that this was set to priority. Oops. I know there's at least one or two of you who have already left a comment about that. I want you to know that I appreciate you looking out for me. But I fixed it, so. <laughs> See, look how quick that was once I actually had it set right. Cool, so now we've got one for corn, one for eggplant, one for algae. And they are... Uh, wait, what is... Oh, okay, that's this. That isn't... Um, isn't actually connected to anything. Alright, so. I'm going to go ahead, just because we have the science, I'm going to go ahead and unlock this. I don't know where I want it to go. I could put it underneath here, yes, but you can't actually build anything on top of this. So, I mean, there's no incentive for me to put this here. Uh, drought coming is fine. We have plenty of water. These are paused. Uh, the old nine days maximum day uh, length and drought for normal mode, by the way. The only thing that was kind of a head scratcher last time with the drought was why did the mangroves dry out? There was no reason for them to do that. So I, I don't really know what happened there. Kind of weird. Because it really shouldn't in nine days. Because there's no water flowing out of this. The depth is... About as high as it's going to go with the dam in place. It's just below that that one line right there, which should place it at about two-thirds. A little bit. 0.66-ish. And now we have no power because there's no flow out of here. So, maybe the next thing we want to do... I know technically we could do this. It would just take a while, but um, that 4,000 science is a lot. Bad water discharge for the iron teeth only. Seems to be confusion about this. The iron teeth only. Bad water discharge will force this to continue to emit bad water during a drought. The folktales one just shuts it off completely. They do not function the same. So we could build this, but right now I don't really want to... The problem we find ourselves with, though, is now there is no power. So, since we have 1,300 logs, I think it's time to go ahead and get going with engines, at least temporarily. Try and uh, salvage what we got going on here. And I don't really have a great place. This is why I don't really like these things. I don't really have a great place to put them, which is annoying. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. What else are you going to do? So let's hit pause so I don't just completely uh, dry out and kill everything. We are going to have to just shut up and build these things. And I don't know how I want to connect stuff because I do want to fill in the land here once we have our terraforming taken care of. But 
it's going to be a little bit of time before we get there, so we might have to just suck it up and have a temporary ugliness here. As uh, annoying as that may be. So two of these, just right here for the time being, two of them will give us 800 HP, which is not enough to run everything, but it's enough to run some stuff that we could deem as essential. So let's go ahead and get that going. Um, things I would consider non-essential would be explosives production, coffee, uh, duplicate buildings. So, I mean, food-wise right now we're fine. These draw 120 HP a piece, so I will go ahead and pause those. Uh, oil production probably don't really need it, but it's also... Yeah, we'll just, we'll just pause it. We got to get these things uh, going. We do want to have access to fermentation. Basic stuff, although we have... We don't have infinite food storage, but we're honestly looking pretty okay for right now. We just want these to get done ASAP. I need to have 40 metal blocks minimum to build two of these. We have 58, so that's looking okay. Uh, these guys are actually... I forgot that they had multiple stages for the wonders. Uh, this is uh, not too far away from being done. We only need 69 of planks there. Wow, look at that. We already are just about out of space for our beavers. So that might require us to build large row houses or... Well, it doesn't have to be large row houses, but these are very versatile buildings because they will fit, well, almost anywhere. And they transmit power. So if we wanted to go up somewhere and we had a, a weird place that only one of these would fit, then hey. Like, for example, right here, this would not be a bad place to put one. We just currently already have that power situation solved, so it's not really a... Uh, not really a thing that's that big of a deal. So I've got six metal blocks left. i got nine gears left and one log left to get this engine done. That should be priority numero uno to get that finished. Then both of these can get going. We'll go ahead and prioritize that one by the haulers and then uh, let them finish this not too far away. And there we go. Get these things fed and we will be rocking and rolling to do at least a little bit. So right now the demand is only 545, really? Got these three, you got metal. I got one plank, one gear, and then, um, well, I guess that's it. Okay, well, if that's gonna be the case, then I can afford to have... I'm gonna turn on explosives because uh, we do still want to have access to those. 695 looking okay. If we had built a number cruncher, we would have had to turn it off anyway. So I, I just, I really don't like how much power this thing uses. It does not matter how much we're producing. It's not enough. We do need gravity batteries though. But to do that, I've got to have somewhere to put them, which I don't currently have a very good uh, way of doing that. Now, if I were to build a big, ugly gravity battery tower all the way to the top of the map, then, uh, Maybe that would be a good idea. Or maybe, maybe in an episode or two, I can check and see if the flywheels mod is finished and then we can build those. Because I like those a whole lot more than gravity batteries. Plus, Battery Smooth is a loyal member of the uh, Beard Boosters and a valued contributor to our community. So that's always nice to support people who, uh, who are part of everything here. Why did we... Oh! Okay, that's not actually in range. Okay, well, in that case... Why don't I do this? Flipperino. That will actually do almost all of this, with the exception of these guys. And then I can... Well, it's not like we're hurting for extra beavers right now, in terms of jobs. So I guess that's okay. I just wanted them to be able to... Uh, do everything they want to do here. All right. Well, being's up to 35. Oh, because they finished the Flame of Unity. 36. Yeah, how's that looking? Very nice. A plus five. I'll take that any day of the week. Well, let's go back and look at our well-being. Because uh, tribute to ingenuity requires power that we don't have yet. Earth through populator, obviously the capstone thing, but... 
you guys said in the last series, the update six with the folktales, uh, during experimental that you wanted to see the wonders activated multiple times. So we're not going to hold this one to the very end, but just keep in mind that the iron teeth one earth repopulator actually sends beavers out when it does that. So we will lose population every time we, uh, every time we do this, where there's the folktales one doesn't do that. It just launches a whole bunch of, I guess, balloons or lanterns or something with seeds in them, which is cool, but it does not take beavers away. This one does. So we're going to have to have uh, a larger population. We'll see how that works. Uh, the rest of this stuff mostly is going to depend on us getting a better power system in place, which we're going to have to do anyway. Uh, and then social life, food-wise, actually most stuff is looking pretty good. So at this point now, we're kind of, uh, kind of in a position where we've already done most of the stuff. Don't say it too loud. We've already done most of the stuff, and now we just have to optimize what we have and expand it. Not really too many more milestones left outside of uh, getting bots brought in. And, of course, scaling up our operation. So this is something I haven't asked, but a couple of you have given your opinions on uh, anyway in advance, which is always appreciated. Uh, what do you want this to be, this playthrough? Do you want to have a whole bunch of beavers? Would you rather keep it a smaller population and try to build something that looks cool? Uh, would you like to see something a little bit of both? Or whatever, just look, like, what is your expectation? Like, we're going to pick one way or the other, but if you give me your ideas, I can try to go the way that most people want. Or if somebody has a really cool idea that nobody thought of, then hey, maybe that's something cool to check out too. But I think it would be nice to try to make something that looks interesting. I'm not going to call it a mega build because as long as Skystorm exists, I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be able to live up to the term mega build. But we can make something that is going to be different from what I normally do. I think is usually a, uh, a nice thing to try. So the earlier idea that I talked about maybe building a big like a housing tower with some other stuff over this water source could be kind of cool. And then putting the, uh, the wonder on top might be a neat thing. I know there's been a couple people have asked to do something with these natural overhangs and incorporate those into some sort of a bad water diversion thing. Uh, but the, the way that the bad water is coming out, well, it's not coming out now because we're in a drought, but the way the bad water has been utilized to this point has been to provide power, which is fine. We don't have to do that, but since that's the way it's been sitting for a long time, we might as well just keep going unless there's a very compelling reason not to. I like the idea of utilizing these natural structures. You cannot place these while you're playing the game. This is a, this is a map element that can be removed but not rebuilt. If we're going to rebuild something like that, then it would have to be like a regular overhang, which are cool. We've used them before in the other playthroughs. Uh, but I would like to know people's opinions on this stuff too. Please always feel free to give me your ideas. I can't guarantee that I'm going to use them. But I want you to feel like you're able to always just say, hey, it would be cool if we did this. Because it's a let's play, not a watch me play. How many times have I said that? Too many times. But it's true. I value you and your input. Even if we can't always do it. So, all that being said, we got two days left in the drought. We are still making stuff. I'm going to go ahead, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start blasting this area out. Uh, for more mangroves. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out so I can have that nice and squared off. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait a little bit. Let's see how far... Uh... There we go. Nobody died. That's always a success. So I want to get more of these planted... I'm also not dumb enough to set this off while beavers are on here, but sometimes they like to take shortcuts if they're builders. So uh, we're going to leave that alone for a little bit. Then think about over here what we want to do. Now, I don't think, unless we have a huge population planned, I don't think we're really going to need to have too much more than just a strip of stuff on this side and a strip of stuff on this side in terms of industrial until we get into bots. 
But if we are going to be in a situation where uh, a whole lot of underground storage is good. When I say underground storage, I mean these things placed underneath other stuff. The underground piles are obviously a folktales only building. But if we think we're going to want to have that over here, then I need to start planning for that now. If not, then it's not going to matter as much. But I think it could be useful to build in these large warehouses uh, underneath these guys, because obviously we'd have to blow this up. But this would fit very nicely. We would have... Uh, like one here, one here, one here, one here. Ish, depending on how we want to lay things out. But, uh, as always, would appreciate your input ideas on that. This is not a big map, again. And I don't think we could reasonably support... Oh, hey, we're out of water. How long has that been a thing? Probably a super long time, judging by the amount of beavers that are super mad about it. Oh, my God. Ooh, boy. All right, so let this be a lesson. I know it's going to automatically turn on in like 0.5 seconds, but... Actually, it didn't matter at all because they're not going to work during the night anyway. Um, let this be a lesson to you. Always pay attention. Don't take your uh, water stock for granted. Yeah, they even paused the, uh, the breeding pods. Yikes. Well, that's not ideal. All right, go to work. Start pumping. Let's go. Make it happen. Get these, uh, get these thirsty beavers unthirstied. All right. Well, now that we've, uh, now that we've had that lapse of judgment occur, it tends to happen every couple of uh, episodes. It seems. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start lumberjacking over here. Get these trees out. Just go ahead and mark all these uh, in the event that I forget to do that. Want to make sure that's all taken care of. These can be unmarked because there's nothing left to grab. Yeah, but we're going to do this. We're going to get this out of here, and then I've got to decide what this reservoir is going to look like if we're going to be blasting these edges down, which there's probably no reason to, or building them up and how big it's going to be. Because I know we're not playing on hard mode, but I think it would be smart to have it at least tall enough to uh, have a full height water pump. So like, even like right here, this would only be what, four, four and a half, five. Math is hard. All right. So we're still thirsty. We're still pumping. We're still taking drinks out of the pumps because nobody can wait. Um, but the number of beavers who are thirsty is going down and hopefully nobody dies of thirst or I'm going to be rightfully roasted for it. So it might take a little while to recover from that, but I think we're going to be okay. Now, we don't need to have these engines running during a... not a drought. So that's fine. Go ahead and hopefully... Yeah, we're going to have to turn these back on. Get this going here. These are all done, right? Go ahead and get this taken care of. I will uh, plant these mangroves while we're here. Good, they can reach. And then probably the rest of this is going to get blasted out too. We're just not quite there yet. Come on, 93% really? Uh-oh, we're dying of thirst. All right, roast me. There you go. We, got, we had two beavers die of thirst because of my negligence. Alright, so the pumps are now going to be prioritized by haulers, so we don't have to worry about this mess anymore. Alright, so now the haulers can actually, you know, do the hauling. And these guys can just pump like their lives depend on it, because they do. Meanwhile, back at the tree farm, 76%, not too bad. That was quick, uh, getting these things all taken care of. Let them take care of that, and then I'll put another uh, thing up here. And then we're not looking too bad, not looking too bad. I think it's just only those two have died of thirst. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Probably should build additional pumps. In fact, definitely because of the amount of uh, beavers we currently have. 
definitely need to have more. What's the best way to go about doing that? I could put... They are just, like, ravenously getting these trees out of here, man. Well, once this is built, they can reach that. I kind of want to see if they can do it with four pumps. Like, I, I think the objective answer is probably not, but they've managed to unthirstify the majority of the beavers. And the number is very slowly going up. Let's put this uh, path in here. There we go. Everything's looking okay, looking okay. All right. Five empty beds. That number was lower, but that's okay. Yeah, they are just like rapidly, rapidly getting rid of all these. So I'm going to move, I'm going to move these guys up top here. So that's going to allow them to get everything from over here. And then, I suppose, since it's not a bad tide yet, go ahead and take care of this, this way. Let's let them do what they gotta do, uh, pop in. I guess, yeah, right here would take care of all that by himself. Ah, this one, this one has not been removed. Alright, well, that's, that's easily fixed. Other food-wise stuff is looking fine. It's just the water is having a hard time keeping up. So I suppose in the absence of a better option, I can't really do this. That's not going to do anything. I will just go ahead and I will put one pump up here. Go ahead and uh, I guess remove all these. Just put one pump up here, prioritize it by haulers, and then... Just do that while we figure out exactly what it is we're going to do about the rest of this. So, we have the source blocks here. We could blast out behind them. There's not really that much of a benefit to doing that. Uh, but I think what we're going to want to do, just to uh, keep things looking nice, would be blast out around this. And then try to keep a two, two border all the way to about, uh, well, I guess I could just go pretty much to right here, but this is going to end up being built up here, which in fact I could just, uh, eh, maybe, maybe I don't want to mess with it yet. I don't know. I'm also probably just massively overthinking it, to be perfectly honest with you. I tend to do that, but I guess I could turn coffee back on and then, uh, bad water pumping as well. That was the whole thing. Yeah, I got no more excuse at this point. We're going to have to just shut up and build something. So, for that to be a viable thing. Dirt excavator needs extract, so we really shouldn't do that until we have a centrifuge, which we can now justify building. Um, If I have a place to put one, which I never really don't, I just need to figure out exactly where that's going to be. Well, it's not like it really matters, right? This straight power shaft that does not have to be here anymore. Uh, I can put a centrifuge right here and be directly powered by all of this nonsense. Until we have a better offer, we can just uh, have this attached to some other kind of way by putting that there. Again, this is not a perfect setup, but it will work for right now. So this will end up, I imagine, for the betterment of what we're currently trying to do. Yeah, what the heck, we'll just, we'll just do this. Then, of course, we're going to have to have bad water storage down here to make extract and then storage to put it somewhere else. So I'll just build two of those there. Nice and easy. Keep it simple. 
And then we're going to have to have the actual dirt excavator itself. Which, the way this is currently going, it probably makes the most sense to build right about here. Which we know we can do. In fact, since that hasn't been built yet, I know this is going to look pretty stupid, but it's fine. We'll make this work any way we have to. So that'll work there. Let's bring these guys over here. And use this to our advantage. To have a pathway onto this. But wait! But wait, you say. This power isn't going to transfer, and you would be correct. Because... I forgot that we have technology. I know, shocker, right? This never happens. I forgot I could just do this. Super, super easy. There's literally no downside to doing this. Literally none. Now, the one bad thing, it's not a downside, not a downside. The one bad thing is that it does require treated planks, which I currently have none of, but we can turn that thing back on. That's gonna make that work, which means we have to have more pine resin, which means this guy gets turned back on. And then let's see, let's see how we're doing here. All right. So that's fine. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. I made the ugliest thing possible without actually intending to. Now I can actually build this. Oh, this is so hideous. But it's going to work. And eventually it'll get taken out, so that's fine. All I've got to do is get them to build these power shafts here. So let's uh, prioritize these. That should take care of uh, just about everything. Did I actually put a... Yes. Except that's going to require this to also be taken care of. Oh, I didn't click on the uh, thing inside. Well, that'll work. Not gonna let me click. Not gonna let me click. Can I get inside of this at all? Surely it wouldn't be that easy. Okay, no it is. Alright. Well, never a dull moment when I'm trying to fight with my own sanity. Or what remains of it. Got one spot left. I don't think we need to worry about building any more housing for a while. But I am very curious about what we're going to end up doing here. I, You know, I might as well go ahead and just... Um, might as well go ahead and just start building this. Again, there's no reason not to. Uh, let's see if it's going to let me... Let me do this. Just build like that. Don't think... It's going to run into problems, but it gives them some place to dump the dirt once it's, uh, well, done. Alright, so these are rotating. Get this in place, and uh, we should be able to start making extract, which means we should be able to start making dirt as soon as everything is here. Which, yes, is going to take a little while, but that's okay because it's in progress. And that is what matters. And we have trees up here that are now able to be cut as soon as I place Lumberjacks. So I've got two there, one there, one there. I'm actually going to turn this into just one here. That should work. This Forester probably needs to move from this exact location. This guy is not going to be able to plant everything again but not too far off from that we can make that happen by putting the second one over here 
right like so and that will take care of everything just gotta do what we gotta do and look at this they are on their way I know it's gonna take a while that's fine we all knew this was gonna happen but progress is being made and we have extract which can be used for other purposes as well like uh, if I remember what those purposes are ah the detailer that's right but guess what the detailer also requires the treated planks which I'm absolutely not taking away from the excavator at this time uh, decoration wise uh, I don't think any of these need treated planks monument wise the tribute to ingenuity needs treated planks but we're not building that yet are we earth repopulator absolutely requires treated planks but guess what that is quite a ways away so we are actually, as of now, in a really, really good position. And we have full wood. So that's always exciting. Water has mostly caught up, but it won't be caught up for too long. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead just to keep up with our uh, expanding population and build another barracks here. Another large one, give us 16 more. And then as time goes by, we're going to have to think about what we want our uh, housing solution to look like. I still am, uh, I think, pretty partial to putting something neat up here. But again, uh, your input is very much wanted and appreciated for, well, everything we're doing. But especially, especially what you'd like to see up here. So, I have one unemployed beaver, two incapacitated. We have a bad tide approaching. So now would be a very good time to either expand our engine power or start to do gravity batteries. I think we don't really have the height necessary for gravity batteries to be super effective at this exact point in time. So I don't think I want to mess with those. But we do have the logs to allow engines to be super effective. Should we choose to uh, uh, use those? So probably the best way to do this... I know I, I made a big deal last episode about how these food factories can transmit power from the sides on the second level. Uh, but we already have this shaft going right through here. It'd be really dumb not to use it and keep that going on. So... Just wanted to acknowledge that, yes, I do remember that these... I'm pointing with my fingers, you can't see. These food factories do transmit power. I'm just not going to do it that way. Or this exact uh, instance here. So, like I said, I think long-term we're going to want to have big storages down here, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, we are in a place now where it is probably more important to just have engines that work and can be used... So that is what is going to be happening here. I have so much wood. I'm not going to cry about um, just deleting these trees. They're just pines. It's two logs each. I think we're going to be okay. We'll survive. So this is going to end up being just like that. Put a four-way here. And then I've just got to be able to get down there, which we already can. That's going to look fine. Um, go ahead and put in... For right now, might end up moving these anyway at some point, but put in this space here. This is going to be another engine, and we just want to make sure we can produce some amount of power. The demand currently is less than 1,000. Uh, some of these are still turned off. Yes, the oil is uh, out, so we will take that back on. We still have plenty of fermented stuff. It's not a big deal. Gears were mostly fine. Planks are mostly fine. I can leave those paused. Right now, the goal is to just get excavation up and running. I know it's going to be a non-quick process, so we can prioritize this. That should help a little bit. We've got uh, logging occurring. So this... I mean, everything's looking okay. We just have to be able to... Uh, do what we are going to have to do. I know that sounds like a, uh, a Yogi Berra-ism, and it mostly is. But we're going to be in good shape, folks. 
going to be in good shape. Now, I can already hear the people saying, because I am I am people saying this, the uh, the bad tides are going to come in, and they're going to poison our water hole. Well, the easy way to solve that is with the help of some sluices that will kind of isolate this entire area here from everything else. So when we go to redesign this, what we're probably going to end up doing, uh, if you watched the live stream Iron Teeth playthrough we did as soon as Update 6 Experimental launched, was we created these kind of... Oh, speak of bad tides and they shall appear. Guess what I didn't finish building? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> oh no. Well, I can't I can't do anything about it. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Oh no. Okay, um mm. Oh, how am I going to solve this? So I need to get, I need to get eight more logs up here yesterday, literally in game yesterday. And I need to build this levee or we're going to have bad water flood all of this. And it's not going to be pretty. Unless I choose to open the floodgate and flood our farms. Oh my God, dude, pay attention. When you're playing Timberborn, you have to pay attention, says the one who never pays attention. Well. Okay. Madeline here is carrying logs. Dean here is carrying logs. Who else, as a builder, is carrying logs? Joshua is carrying logs. Who is the fourth builder, and do they have logs? I guess I could just click on uh, Mark over here. Mm, Mark is carrying nothing. I'm sure Mark is on his way to go get logs. No, Mark is not on his way to go get logs. Where are you going, Mark? Not to put you on the spot, but also to put you on the spot. Um, so we have our intrepid volunteers braving the poisons of humans gone by to put in logs where logs should have been placed a long time ago, but their overlord did not tell them to do it. Well, that's showbiz, baby. Let's go. Josh is doing the most right here. And starving? Oh, no. No, don't leave! No! Josh, buddy. You gotta finish your work, dude. And I know you know all about this stuff. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, we're flooding our crops. We're flooding all the crops. No, you gotta do it, man. You got. Oh no. Ah. You can't leave it undone. It's at seventy-one percent. We're gonna kill all of our crops, and we're all gonna get humanitis. You gotta do it, man. You gotta go get it done. You can't. You can't do this, man. You absolutely cannot do this. Matt D. In the thick of it. In the poison wastes. Dutifully harvesting cassava. Farmers are the backbone of beavers. Truly. Alright, now. Now we have an opportunity. Mark. We have an opportunity for redemption. You're carrying nothing. Are you in route to save everyone, or are you in route to do nothing? I guess we're going to find out. You're carrying nothing, but you are headed the correct direction. You are headed the correct direction. Will, will you be the one who redeems the other three who fought valiantly and then did not finish the job? It seems like you will be. All right. You absolute legend. You absolute legend. You succeeded where they failed. And by where they failed, I mean where they also were doing their jobs. And I shouldn't be angry with them. But. All that to being. All that being said. 
we have we have poisoned our water supply. However, comma, no one seems to have become poisoned themselves. So, I think we might be okay. I think we might be okay. I'm so stressed about this. All right. Turbo mode. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let this be a lesson to you to always pay attention and um, to, I guess, uh, make sure that before you discuss bad water diversion techniques, you actually have uh, your current measures correctly implemented. So before all that drama went down, uh, what we had, uh, what we had discussed. Wait, what's blocked by bad water? Oh, these. Okay. All right. I was about to panic. I was about to say, no, 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 we haven't infected anybody and we're not going to start now. Um, so what we, what we were discussing was building kind of an enclosure around the sources. And then we can use these overhangs to, uh, kind of like have reverse fountains here where this will just come up over the top and then spill out the side unless it's bad water, in which case it gets shoved off the map. If it's good water, it falls down harmlessly into the reservoir below to be used. And it's not going to be that hard for us to build that. It's just going to be a little bit of a process. I think for the sake of uh, stuff looking nice, I will blast this out and then... Um, either going to be levees or dirt, depending on what is more plentiful and what we decide we want stuff to look like. Uh, I'll just make a... I guess it'll just have to end up being... Well, pretend there's stuff here. This will this will just be closed in, go all the way up. We'll do, I guess, just 4x4 four four because it's going to look nicer. Um, and then bring it up high enough if we go to the maximum height of the map, which is actually, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just uh, click until we can't click anymore. Cannot be built at this height. So that is the maximum build height on the map. If we came up just about to that height, it'd have to be one below so we could put our sluices in. Um, that would be that would be quite tall. Do you want to see something that high? Do you want it not to be that high? Do you think this is ridiculously high? Or do you want it to just be something that is absurd for the sake of absurdity? Let me know down below. All right, so let's get rid of this garbage because we obviously cannot build this anytime soon. And uh, now that, despite my complaining, uh, the dutiful builder beavers have averted mass catastrophe and nobody got sick, even though it was probably very, very close, uh, we, can, we can safely ignore that a little bit for now. Take a look at our dirt excavator. We got 26 more treated planks to go, and then we can start getting dirt. We have plenty of extract being generated. We have explosives out the wazoo. Well, I guess if that's the case, then I could, um, I could start the process of blasting this out to be the four by four. Now, the only reason I really want to do this is so that I could just have this be one block in from the edge and have it be congruent on all four sides. And because this is only two blocks from here, but it's three blocks from here, I just, look, it's nice when stuff matches, right? I think we can all appreciate that. I am a little concerned that this might be a little bit too poisonous to be safe for our beavers to, uh, to come through here. But uh, I guess at this point, it doesn't really matter. I have so much science, I'm just gonna get a stream gauge unlocked. And I'm going to build one. Yeah, they can reach that. I don't think... I Obviously, it's less than 50% contaminated because we don't have the tendrils coming in. But it's got to be like 30-something percent would be my guess. Let's find out. Uh, Wow, it's only 12? Okay, well, we got off pretty easy then. That is not that bad. So whenever this bad tide's over, we'll just have to open this. But once we have this thing built, it's going to be completely automated. We are not going to have to worry about it. And that's going to be nice. Yeah, so we'll just get this down to 
the same height here, although really it doesn't have to be. I just want this to match because, of course, I do. Again, don't forget, let me know if you want this to be dirt, the enclosure we're going to build. If you want it to be dirt, you want it to be uh, levees. If you want it to be dirt, it's probably going to take a really long time to build, but it might look cooler. If you want it to be uh, levees with wood, then obviously it'll be a lot quicker to build. All right, 15 treated planks left. I think we're going to actually have dirt for the end of this episode. We've gotten so much done in six episodes. I can't believe it. Normally, it takes me forever to get to terraforming because I spend so much time overbuilding infrastructure because they have giant populations of beavers. It's amazing what you can get done when you're not just focused on doing enormous, stupid things all the time. Pretty cool, huh? Well, at any rate, there's so many things that happened to this episode that could have been worse. And I am glad they weren't. All we can do now is just uh, put on a happy face and celebrate the win. I'm going to unpause these uh, deep water pumps uh, because very clearly we are going to run out soon. And I do not want that to happen. The bad thing is that since this is partially contaminated water now, anything we pump out will only increase the relative concentration of contamination, and it will take longer to pump out as a result. But not the end of the world. Yeah, see, look how quickly that's going up. Oh, this is going to be bad. It's going to be bad news, folks. But it's going to be flushed out. Could definitely, definitely be worse. I know we're losing a lot to evaporation over here, and this probably isn't the best way to be doing this. But, um... I think what we could do to help this is pause when a bad tide or a drought starts and only unpause when a temperate starts. But I will manually pause that. So we're not dumping water during a time where we should be conserving it. That's going to help. Yeah, look at that. Contamination's already up to 22%. We have to be careful. If this gets above 50, it's going to start killing our crops. Not like it's really going to super matter, but it definitely is going to do something at the very least. We have to be cognizant of that. But keeping the beavers alive is more important than having the crops alive because we have plenty of food stored up already. Again, it definitely could be way worse. And we only have two days left. So 400 water, two days or two a day, we have 80 beavers, it's 160 per day, two days we can definitely survive. But keep in mind, these hydroponic gardens technically consume water, or only once per cycle, but they still have to be stocked. I can't stock them and have them um, paused at the same time. But if I pause them, then the crops that are in there will die and we don't want that to happen. So again, it is... Um, it's an unfortunate situation. 145, 1.5. I'm going to, you know what? I just got to stop this because now this is at 38%. 37. Why is it going down? Is it because it's evaporating? That's almost certainly what's happening. Well, regardless, it's killed a lot of crops and that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. I got 1200 cassava anyway, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, we are also out of scrap metal, which I did not notice. So let's go ahead and unpause these scavenger flags. There's not that much left over here, so we want to make sure they can get at that. Um, and I guess we might as well prepare for the next bit of metal harvesting by uh, bringing this up here and building another set of three of these, which will be an eventually thing. One day left in the drought, we got... 79 beavers, we have more than enough water, we should be okay. Hey, guess what? We got dirt. <laughs> yes, we do. We've got dirt. And what I can do with that dirt is I can go ahead and just build myself a little storage thing here. Have that marked as supply. And they're going to come all the way over here and start building. Look, they already have. They've already made some very good progress getting a dirt taken care of here. Very exciting stuff. Now we did end up uh, during the drowned playthrough. This was a long time ago. Uh, the drowned playthrough, we were messing with the dynamiting around source blocks and we encountered some very strange glitches. 
So hopefully that doesn't happen again. I think that probably had more to do with the uh, whole, hey, let's turn the water sources up to insane quantities that are higher than the waterfall limit and then see what happens of all that. But I guess we'll see. How are we looking here? 32%? Okay. Definitely, definitely evaporation occurring there. But the bad tide's over, which means once again, the cleanliness is occurring up here. Probably should go ahead and put another one of these uh, stream gauges in. Uh, but now this is sufficiently clean for me to feel okay just slamming this mess open. Uh, surge all of that poison out through um, this. It's not going to kill these trees. It's not high enough concentration. And we are looking good, folks. And hey, look, it's another... Oh, God, it's an hour, 12 minutes-ish. Maybe a little bit less after I take out the loading screen. Well... We didn't get anybody infected with the bad water yet. It's, I guess, entirely possible that that will happen at this point. But I'm going to say, overall, this was a successful episode. We have terraforming unlocked. We have extract unlocked. We are starting the process of constructing additional uh, land here. And now all we've got to do is figure out exactly what we're going to be uh, building over here. So again... I know I asked you guys a lot of um, questions, a lot of uh, input requested in this episode, but please do uh, give that to me if you feel so inclined, because uh, it, it makes these playthroughs so much better when you guys participate in the, uh, the decision-making process. I firmly believe that, always will. So very much appreciate your input on that, as well as just thanks for a great series so far. This the first time that Mechanistry has sponsored videos on this channel, and they've done extremely well uh, a couple of you reached out and said that uh, you were inspired to purchase the game which is great i love it when more people can play timberborn uh, and while the sponsored part of this series is over i do genuinely hope that you guys will go and pick up the game it is super fun well worth way more money than they're charging for it so please do support the developers uh, they supported the channel in a huge way and you guys continue to do that as well. I'm very thankful for all that support. Beer Boosters, you see the names on the screen. I think at this point there's 12 or 1,300 different people who have at some point, whether because they uh, d were donated a membership or they became a member of their own accord or whatever. The point, point being, all the names you see on the screen are people that have directly financially supported the channel and made it possible for me to keep making these daily videos and keeping garbage sponsors out of here, which I never want to ever have to do. So uh, your generosity makes it possible. You made a huge difference in my life, and I cannot thank you enough. I'm glad we get to keep doing this, and I hope we can keep doing it for a really long time. So all that being said, that's going to be it for today. We're going to have more Water Beavers tomorrow, but we're going to be right back here in this playthrough on Friday. Uh, yeah, so three three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for this playthrough, three days a week for Water Beavers, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and then Roller Coaster Tycoon on Sunday. As long as I'm able to keep that going, I'm going to try and keep that going. Of course, Water Beavers are going to end, and then at that point, I'm going to decide what's next. Maybe a hard mode playthrough for Update 6, maybe Water Beavers Update 6, get you guys in on a uh, brand new playthrough of that. But I digress. That's quite enough of me talking. Have a great rest of your day. Whatever it is you're doing, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Take care, friends. Bye-bye.